Hey guys, it's Angela. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this macrame monstera leaf. This makes a perfect statement piece for any wall and it only takes a couple hours to make. So if you'd like to learn how to make it, then keep on watching. For today's materials, all we need is a pencil, a hot glue gun, some glue, a pair of scissors, macrame string, and a piece of cardboard. So the first step is to draw the leaf onto the cardboard. And although it doesn't have to be perfect, I would try to keep the top edges as symmetrical as possible. You'll see in a couple seconds what I mean. Once you have your leaf all drawn out, this is when you can start cutting. You can either use scissors for like that really structured clean cut, or you could do this ripping method that I do. I like doing this because it gave it more of like a natural finish, and I wasn't going for perfection, so I like doing it this way. So this is what I was talking about before. On the left side of the leaf, it's not as round as the right side is. And I noticed once I put the macrame string on it that it didn't fan as nicely as it did on the right side. So just keep this in mind when you're making your own. Now the next step is the gluing. This does take some time, so just be patient with it. And also be patient because I burnt myself many times. So if you're a child, Please get your parents help on this one and if you're an adult Please be careful because you will burn yourself To get a little feathered fanning edge like I did on mine, you can leave one to two inches of extra string and then at the end fan it out with a comb and then trim it back. I just love the way that this looked. You'll see that at the end of the video, but I do suggest doing this because I think it really just like pulls everything together. Gluing all of the macrame string down honestly is very tedious and takes the most amount of work, but it is like the most rewarding because once you're finished, you can start cutting and it just like all comes together so perfectly. For doing this the second time, I noticed that I like to string like into sections, like I like to glue like five inches and then glue another five inches so the glue doesn't get like hard and you'll have to like re-glue it if that makes any sense. The rhythm that I was kind of going on was like you put the glue down and then you put the string down and then you cut it. So you go glue, string, cut, glue, string, cut, glue, string, cut, you get it. I think that was just like personally the easiest way to get it done the fastest. So once you get all of your string on, obviously it looks a little funky, you know, you have like all of these like hanging strings that just like, you know, don't look <laughs> too nice. But now we're going to take our little comb and start combing out all the edges. Honestly, this also takes like a little bit of time because it's like brushing a little child's hair that's like been sleeping for like 12 days straight. It is such a knot. So just be patient while you're doing this too and try not to do it too hard because you will rip the string like right off the cardboard. But once you have that all brushed out, we can start cutting and making it look a little bit nicer. So when you start cutting, I suggest on the holes or like the fenestrations or however you pronounce them, please do not come at me. I pretty much cut like everything off on the holes. I just think it looks a little better because you can like see through them. And then for the edges, I like to keep a good amount on the edge because I just like the, like the way that looks, especially on like the bottom part of the leaf. So it's really up to personal preference. If you want to keep a lot of string on, then go right ahead. And if you want to cut it shorter and make it a little bit more refined, then to each their own. So you can kind of see here that I'm pretty much like going at it and like cutting like everything off on like the side. I just like wanted mine to look like very like neatly done, I guess. And the very last step I did was take my limp brush to get all those annoying little fuzzies off. I 
hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know I had a lot of fun making this. This project takes about to like two to four hours depending like how fast you can glue down the macrame string. But I think this is a very fun way to just make a good statement piece for your bedroom or maybe your bathroom or really anywhere. It just looks really cute. So if you did try to make this, please like tag me on Instagram or like send it to me through a DM. I would love to see if anyone tried to like recreate this. I haven't made something I loved in like a long time and I love these. Please let me know if you tried this. I would love to see you guys recreate it in any way possible. If you make it huge, that'd be hilarious. Or if you make it a little small, you know, just like anything. But if you've made it to the end, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a good day, night, weekend, whenever you're watching this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.